Greetings, students. I'm Dr. Jingyo Su. I'm an Asian American economist born and raised in South Korea, and I'm excited to share my passion for econ with you all in courses like 201, 202, 510, Managerial Economics, and 512, International Economics. Have you ever felt like traditional education methods could be more adaptive and engaging? That's why I'm so passionate about AI in education. I envision a future where technology can tailor learning to each student's needs, making education truly transformative and accessible. Forget textbooks. Imagine AI-powered tutors that adjust to your learning pace, answer your questions in real time, and even predict your strengths and weaknesses. That's the world I'm working towards with AI in education. It's not just about technology, it's about shaping the future of learning. Fear not, ye brave adventurers. This digital scroll, the syllabus, nestled beneath the home button on canvas, contains the holy grail of course, information. Well, maybe not holy, but definitely important. It's a bit lengthy, 16 pages, so I'll spare you the legalese and share the highlights. Consider it my cliff notes for the rules of the academic jungle. The orientation session may include information on the following. 1. Course policies and assignments as presented in the course syllabus. 2. A course outline. 3. A textbook website. 4. A class website. 2. Canvas. 5. Instructor contact information. My email is jasa at tuskegee.edu. Econ 0201 Course Description This course is the first part of two sequence of principles of economics and deals with the aggregate volume of the output of the American economy, with the extent to which its resources are employed, with size of the national income, and with the general price level. This course explores the economic behavior of aggregates on a national scale. Substantial time is spent analyzing aggregate employment, income, output, and inflation. Studying textbook-style problems and techniques constitutes an integral part of the class. Learning Outcomes of Econ 201 Upon completion of this course, you will be able to outline the nature of the economic problem, to become familiar with the basic structure of the American economic system, to list the role of consumers, business, banks and government in influencing the level of economic activity in an economy, to be able to interpret economic vocabulary, to develop analytical skills on current economic issues, to explain and analyze current events in international economics. Textbook and Reading Materials We use the Carl E. Case Ray C. Fair, and Sharon M. Oster's Principles of Macroeconomics, 13th edition. ISBN 9780-135196960. The publisher is Pearson. Weekly assignments. Pre- and post-tests. Each module features a pre-test and post-test that contribute to your final grade. There are seven such tests in total. Pre-test retakes. You can take each pre-test twice, with only the last attempt impacting your score. Test preview and exam preparation. Some test questions may reappear on the midterm or final exam, offering valuable insight into potential exam content. Take advantage of this opportunity to preview questions and solidify your understanding. Early completion and improvement. Do not wait until the deadline. Taking tests early allows you to review the material, retake the test for a better score, and deepen your understanding of each topic. Each test attempt utilizes a different version, exposing you to a wider range of questions for each module. Post-test attempts. Unlike pre-tests, you have only one attempt for each post-test. AI Economics Projects this optional AI project offers bonus points beyond your multiple-choice pre- and post-test scores. Recognizing that some students may find multiple-choice assessments challenging, this essay provides a chance to demonstrate your mastery of key chapter content in a different format. Ultimately, learning is the goal, 
and this project gives you a second opportunity to grasp any unlearned concepts. Here's what you can expect. Earn up to 10 to 20 extra points per assignment, regardless of your multiple choice performance. Explore alternative perspectives. Tackle concepts in a different format than the post-test multiple choice questions. Flexible completion. Leave and return to the project as needed until you're confident in your submission. Remember, submit only when you're fully prepared. There's no penalty for participating. By embracing this opportunity, you can deepen your understanding, strengthen your grasp of critical content, and potentially boost your overall score. Exams. The course features two major exams, a midterm and a final. Both assess your understanding of key concepts and ability to apply them to new situations. Exam schedule. Midterm. Weeks 4, 8, and 12. Specific dates, TBC. You'll have 1 hour and 15 minutes per attempt. Final. Final exam schedule. Specific date and time, TBC. You'll have two hours for this exam. Exam focus. While textbook knowledge is important, exams go beyond simple recall. Expect questions that test comprehension, assess your grasp of key concepts and principles, require application, challenge you to apply knowledge to new scenarios, not just recite facts, promote critical thinking, encourage you to analyze and interpret information independently. Time management. While the allocated time allows for some textbook reference, thorough understanding is crucial. Focus on mastering core concepts through active learning and practice to avoid relying solely on last-minute lookups during the exam. Overall, exams are opportunities to demonstrate your learning and intellectual growth. Prepare well, focus on understanding, and apply your knowledge confidently. Performance measures and grading. Letter grades are determined on the standard percentage distributions as indicated below. Total 750 points, 100%. Note, AI slash buy economics projects are extra credit which will be added to your total point. Depending on the quality of the answer, you are awarded up 8 to 20 points each assignment. Grading scale indicated below. Response times and feedback. For optimal communication, please use your TU email address. As per university policy, this ensures proper routing and record keeping for all our interactions. Expect a response within 48 to 72 hours. I prioritize student communication, aiming to respond within two days, with a maximum of three days, according to TU policy. This allows me to provide thoughtful and thorough replies while juggling other responsibilities. Remember, clear and concise communication is key. The more detailed your email, the more efficient and effective my response can be. By following these guidelines, we can ensure smooth and productive communication throughout the semester. I hope all students in the class have a wonderful and productive semester. As a conclusion, this course focuses on independent learning via online videos and lectures, culminating in a weekly test on Thursdays. In-class sessions are dedicated to experimentation and practical application of AI concepts. Missing a Thursday class significantly jeopardizes your passing grade, with early test participation as the only escape route.